Hello and welcome back to the Sun Devil Source 2 Minute Drill. I'm Ethan Tuttle, joined alongside Chris Cartman. Some significant news today on Arizona State's uh, football team, specifically on the defensive side of the ball. As we were informed after practice, that fifth year, uh, Michael Matus, defensive end for the Sun Devils, will be out for the season with a torn ACL. It'll be on his left leg. Chris, what was your initial reactions to hearing that today? Yeah, it's a uh, big deal. Second year in a row that ASU suffered a catastrophic season-ending injury in camp to a defensive lineman. Of course, Jermaine Lilly last year went down uh, with a tricep tendon tear. And then uh, with three games into the season, Trevez Moore was lost with an ACL injury last year. Now, Moore returned for a sixth year. Uh, Michael Matus has said that he's unclear whether or not he will return. He does have another year of eligibility available, but it would be a sixth season in Tempe. Uh, he said he's focused really on the surgery that's upcoming and his rehabilitation right now. But that's a significant uh, hit for the Sun Devils on defense. He was one of their, maybe their best overall run defender on the edge, a uh, guy who's a veteran presence. He's played in 28 games, 14 starts, uh, just uh, one of their most mature cerebral and uh, best leaders. Uh, so uh, even though they're trying to put a, as much of a positive spin on it as possible and Matu said, hey, it's football, injuries like this happen, it is a massive deal for the Sun Devils. Yeah, if there is a silver lining to a situation like this for the Sun Devils, I, they are pretty deep at the defensive uh, line position and specifically on the end. So who are some guys are going to have to uh, kind of stand out and practice now and Fill the, fill the role. Yeah, so uh, clearly uh, it, it's better that it happened at defensive end than it had it been at linebacker or in the secondary or some of their offensive positions where they're shallow. Uh, we've seen that Anthony Cooper has rounded into quite a good player at defensive end over the last couple years. Trevez Moore is back and looking pretty healthy after the ACL last year. Joe Moore, one of the most improved guys on the roster from last season and has kind of developed his game into more of a full service guy, better against the run after being more of a passing down weapon last year and then uh, Garen Stansberry and Dylan Hall are two guys who have the ability to come in on third downs and make an impact so uh, they still should be uh, pretty solid if not very good uh, at defensive end this year. And some more injury news Jacob Newell a freshman tight end from Oregon also injured in last week's practice we heard today from him as well on uh, his foot injury uh, what's the update there, Chris? Yeah, so Herm Edwards uh, did say that Newell is going to be likely out for the season as well. Uh, he was placed in an air cast uh, when he went down uh, in a, a drill about sort of blocking uh, last week in practice that we saw. Um, he was very likely headed for a redshirt season, no higher than the number four at tight end. It's a position where you want to have depth, uh, but the Sun Devils, they do have Messiah Swinson, Jalen Conyers, Case Hatch is a fullback slash, slash H-back, and then they have uh, Bryce Pierre at a junior college level who's like a number three uh, tight end. So they're, they, they have other guys there. They are going to have to stay healthy now, but uh, Jacob Newell is likely out for the season. All right, thanks so much, Chris. That's all the time we have here. Make sure to uh, head over to the 247 Sports website as well as the Sun Devil Source YouTube to check out the rest of our content. We'll see you next time.